Welcome back everyone. The next step in our learning path is to understand how Vue works with HTTP. In this video, let me give you an introduction as to how HTTP requests are generally handled in a Vue application. And in the next two videos, let us go over the basic scenarios of making GET and POST requests from our Vue application. And when you're building web applications, you more often than not have to reach out to the server to fetch some data or send some data based on user interactions. And this web application in our context is of course a view application. But if you can recollect from the very first video, I mentioned that view is a framework for building user interfaces. It is in no way concerned about HTTP. This raises a very important question. How do we make HTTP requests in Vue? Or how do we make API calls in Vue? To answer that question, first, let me tell you that Vue itself does not have a particular way to fetch or send data to the server. In fact, as far as Vue is concerned, it doesn't even have to know that there is a server in the picture. Remember, Vue components simply read data properties and bind them to the UI. Therefore, to use some data from the server, you just have to get the data into your component's data object. Now, if Vue isn't going to handle the request, who will be doing that? This is where you will have to make use of an HTTP library. There are a few popular ones out there, but I prefer Axios. Fetch API is also a good consideration as it is more standardized, but for our understanding, I will stick to Axios. Our focus is not really on the library we use, rather how we use it with Vue. All right, with that introduction, let's get started by adding the Axios package to our application. I'm back here in VS Code, and as you can see, I have created a new view project using the view CLI. The command is view create view hyphen HTTP, which is the name of this project. Once you run the same command, you should as well have a project similar to mine. The next step is to install the Axios package. So make sure you open the terminal within the project folder and run the command yarn add Axios. When the command completes, Axios should be added to the list of dependencies. In the next video, let's see how to make a simple get request to fetch some data and display it in the UI.